What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the Microsoft 365 Certified Fundamentals examination. So let's get into it. In today's dynamic and increasingly hybrid workplace, organizations are searching for innovative tools to enhance productivity, security, and collaboration. Microsoft 365, this is a comprehensive solution that addresses these needs, combining the power of office applications, intelligent cloud services, and robust security features. It is designed to empower individuals and organizations alike, and Microsoft 365, it helps achieve more in work and in life. So. Whether you're a student, professional, or enterprise organization, understanding Microsoft 365 and its capabilities is crucial. In this video, we're going to cover the fundamentals of Microsoft 365, including its differences from Office 365, its role in enabling a hybrid workforce, and how tools like Microsoft 365 Copilot and Microsoft 365 Tenants contribute to a new optimized way of working. All right, so one of the most common points of confusion is the difference between Office 365 and Microsoft 365. Now, while they are related, they are not the same product. So here's a breakdown to clarify the distinction. So let's talk about Office 365. So Office 365, this refers to a suite of cloud-based productivity tools, primarily focused on enhancing Office-related work. It includes widely known applications such as Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and Teams. In Office 365, it delivers tools to create documents, manage email, collaborate on presentations, and communicate effectively within Teams. It operates on a subscription basis, offering different plans for individuals, businesses, and enterprises. Now, Microsoft 365, this is a broader and more comprehensive platform that includes Office 365 as a core component, but extends its functionality. It combines productivity applications with additional intelligent cloud services, device management capabilities, and advanced security tools. And some of the key features of Microsoft 365 include the following. So you have Office apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. It has cloud services like OneDrive for file storage, Teams for collaboration, and SharePoint for document management, and it has advanced security. So it has tools like Microsoft Defender, conditional access, data loss prevention, and multi-factor authentication. And then it also has device management. So Microsoft Intune and Endpoint Manager, they can help organizations securely manage devices and applications. So in essence, Microsoft 365 is the evolution of Office 365 delivering a complete solution for secure and efficient modern work. All right, so let's talk about how Microsoft 365 empowers workers in a hybrid world of work. So the way we work has fundamentally changed. Hybrid work where employees split their time between remote and in-office locations. This has become the new norm. Microsoft 365 plays a central role in enabling this shift by providing the tools and infrastructure to support productivity, collaboration, and security regardless of location. Let's talk about collaboration across boundaries. So Microsoft Teams, which is a core component of Microsoft 365, this allows individuals to collaborate seamlessly across different work environments. Teams, it combines chat, meetings, calling, and file sharing into one platform, making communication efficient. It allows for remote employees to join video conferences and meetings. Team members, they can collaborate on documents in real time using apps like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. In integration with SharePoint, this ensures that all shared content remains accessible and secure. Next, there's flexibility for every work style. So Microsoft 365 is designed to cater to diverse work styles, whether employees prefer working on desktops, tablets, or smartphones. Microsoft 365 offers flexibility with applications available on multiple devices and platforms such as Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. Also, OneDrive, this ensures all files are securely stored in the cloud. It can be accessed from any device. In Outlook, it keeps emails and calendars synchronized 
enabling organized communication. And then we have enhanced security for hybrid environments. So security, this is a significant challenge in hybrid work environments. And Microsoft 365 provides enterprise grade security features to protect data devices and identities, such as Microsoft Defender that offers endpoint protection that you have what is called conditional access. This ensures only authorized users can access company resources. And then there's data loss prevention, which helps prevent sensitive information from being shared unintentionally. Next, we have streamlined device management. So managing devices in a hybrid work environment can be complex. Microsoft Intune, which is part of Microsoft Endpoint Manager, this allows IT admins to secure and manage devices remotely, or they can deploy and configure devices seamlessly, and they can enforce security policies across company laptops, tablets, and smartphones. And then we have productivity through automation. So Microsoft 365, it integrates tools like Power or automate and power apps to automate repetitive tasks, freeing up time for strategic work. And this is particularly valuable in hybrid work scenarios where efficiency is crucial. So with Microsoft 365, businesses, they can empower their employees to work from anywhere while maintaining the same level of productivity, collaboration, and security as in a traditional office. All right, so let's talk about Microsoft 365 Copilot. So one of the most exciting advancements in Microsoft 365 is the introduction of Microsoft 365 Copilot. Copilot, this is an AI powered assistant that integrates seamlessly into Microsoft 365 applications, helping users work smarter and faster. So exactly what is 365 Copilot? So Microsoft 365 Copilot, it leverages the power of generative AI in large language models to provide intelligent suggestions, automate workflows, and enhance productivity across popular applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and Microsoft Teams. So exactly how does Copilot work? So Copilot, it works alongside users by offering real-time support. It analyzes input and content to deliver tailored suggestions. And some key use cases include the following. So we have Microsoft Word. Copilot can help draft documents, rewrite text for clarity, summarize content, and suggest improvements. When it comes to Microsoft Excel, Copilot simplifies data analysis by creating formulas, generating charts, and providing insights based on patterns. When it comes to Microsoft PowerPoint, Copilot can assist with creating presentations, suggesting layouts, and generating slide content. When it comes to Microsoft Outlook, Copilot can help prioritize emails, draft replies, and schedule meetings efficiently. And when it comes to Microsoft Teams, Copilot can summarize meeting discussions, it can capture action items, and it can keep everyone aligned. And some of the benefits of Microsoft 365 Copilot are as follows. It offers increased productivity. So Copilot can automate repetitive tasks, which can save valuable time. It can enhance creativity, and it can do this by offering intelligent suggestions where Copilot can help users generate fresh ideas and content. And it can improve decision making to where Copilot can extract insights from data and documents, helping users make informed decisions quickly. So here's an example of Copilot in action. So imagine you're preparing a quarterly business review presentation with Copilot and PowerPoint. You can simply describe your goals and Copilot will generate a draft presentation complete with data-driven visuals and key talking points. So by unlocking a new way of working, Microsoft 365 Copilot empowers users to focus on high value tasks and achieve better outcomes. All right, so let's talk about Microsoft 365 tenants. So a critical concept in understanding Microsoft 365 is the Microsoft 365 tenant. Now, a tenant, this is essentially the core environment where all Microsoft 365 services and applications are managed for the organization. So in other words, a tenant, this is a dedicated instance of Microsoft 365 assigned to an organization. It serves as the foundation for managing users, licenses, data, and security settings within the Microsoft cloud. Now, when an organization subscribes to Microsoft 365, a tenant is created and it provides the following. So it provides identity management, and this is for users and groups that are managed through Azure Active Directory. It provides service configuration. This is where admins can configure Microsoft 365 services like Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, and Teams. There's license management. So 
licenses for Microsoft 365 applications. They can be assigned to users within the tenant. And then it offers data management. So all organizational data, such as emails, documents, and Teams conversations, they can be stored within the tenant and remains under the organization's control. And the key components of tenant are as follows. So the first part is Azure Active Directory. And this is the identity and access management service that supports user authentication and authorization. There's the admin center. This is a centralized portal where IT admins manage users, configure settings, and monitor usage. We have the service health dashboard. This provides real-time insights into the health and performance of Microsoft 365 services. And then we have the compliance center. And these are tools that are used to ensure data compliance, including e-discovery, retention policies, and auditing capabilities. And here are the steps for setting up a Microsoft 365 tenant. So the first thing you want to do is register a domain name. You want to create your user accounts and assign licenses. You want to configure services like email, Teams, and SharePoint. And you want to set up your security policies and conditional access rules. Now, if all of that seems too simple, you can visit the Microsoft Learn website for a more detailed explanation or contact your local Microsoft representative who will walk you through the process step my step. But getting back to these wonderful slideshows I put together. So let's talk about some of the benefits of Microsoft 365. Well, they offer centralized management, and this is where admins can manage all users, devices, and services from a single portal. It offers scalability. So tenants, they are designed to scale as organizations grow. Then we have data security and compliance. So Microsoft, it ensures tenant data is secure and compliant with industry standards such as GDPR and HIPAA. And it offers customizable settings. So organizations, they can tailor Microsoft 365 services to meet their specific needs. Now, by understanding and managing their Microsoft 365 tenant effectively, organizations, they can optimize the use of Microsoft 365, ensuring secure, efficient, and compliant operations. So in summary, Microsoft 365 is much more than a suite of productivity tools. It is a complete cloud-based platform designed to help individuals and organizations achieve more. By combining best-in-class office applications, intelligent cloud services, and advanced security, Microsoft 365 delivers unmatched flexibility, security, and productivity for the modern workforce. From the seamless collaboration offered by Microsoft Teams to the game-changing AI capabilities of Microsoft 365 Copilot, Microsoft 365 continues to revolutionize the way we work. So understanding Microsoft 365 tenants, it further empowers organizations to manage users, data, and resources efficiently in a secure and scalable manner. So for professionals who are preparing for the Microsoft 365 Certified Fundamentals exam, understanding these foundational concepts will provide the knowledge needed to succeed. Microsoft 365 is not just the future of work, it is the present. So embracing its full potential ensures that individuals and businesses alike stay ahead in an increasingly digital and hybrid world. All right, now that all of that has been stated, let's do some check on learning. So the first question is, what is one key difference between Office 365 and Microsoft 365? Is it Office 365 includes Windows operating system licenses while Microsoft 365 does not? Is it Microsoft 365 includes productivity apps, security tools, and device management features while Office 365 focuses primarily on productivity apps? Is it Office 365 365 includes features for endpoint security and compliance, while Microsoft 365 does not? Or is it Microsoft 365 and Office 365 are exactly the same product, just marketed differently? And the correct answer is Microsoft 365 includes productivity apps, security tools, and device management features, while Office 365 focuses primarily on productivity applications. So Office 365, this is a subscription-based service focused on productivity apps like Word, Excel, and Teams. Microsoft 365 expands upon Office 365 by incorporating advanced security features, device management, and Windows operating system licenses to support support hybrid work scenarios and organizational needs. Next question. 
How does Microsoft 365 empower workers in a hybrid work environment? Is it by enabling only offline productivity applications to prevent distractions? Is it by restricting users to work on company devices only to ensure data security? Is it by offering standalone versions of Office apps without cloud connectivity? Or is it by providing integrated collaboration tools, secure cloud storage, and device management to work seamlessly across locations? And the correct answer is by providing integrated collaboration tools, secure cloud storage and device management to work seamlessly across locations. So Microsoft 365, it empowers hybrid workers by integrating tools like Teams for communication, OneDrive for secure cloud storage and device management solutions through Intune, ensuring seamless collaboration and productivity regardless of location or device. And our final question, what is the primary role of Microsoft 365 Copilot? Is it for assisting users with AI generated insights, drafting content and simplifying workflows across office apps? Is it for automating IT administration tasks within the Microsoft 365 tenant? Is it for managing organizational compliance and enforcing security policies? Or is it for providing real time analytics on subscription usage within the Microsoft 365 tenant? And the correct answer is it is for assisting users with AI generated insights, drafting content and simplifying workflows across office apps. So Microsoft 365 Copilot, it leverages AI to assist users by generating insights, drafting professional content, automating repetitive tasks and enhancing workflows across tools like Word, Excel and Teams. And this transforms productivity and unlocks a new way of working.